anything besides sex. <laughs> Come on, Chris, give me the dirt. You know you're dying to. I don't know where you get this image of me as a town slut. From you, as far as I remember. I'm tired of meeting Mr. Wrong, you know. At this point, I'd much rather jerk off and have sex with another guy I can't stand. I want a guy who will take me to the ballet every once in a while. When he's not taking to the baseball game, right? Right. You mean a sensitive, culturally illiterate jock. Exactly. Hi. Hi. I don't know what came over me. I guess you had nice hands. I wanted to touch them. I had a little wine, so I just did. It was nice. The Stewart boy's gotten to you. What do you mean? That you, Christopher Bedford, went out last night with a man you find attractive, and you didn't even try to get him into bed? That's what I mean. Why not? Yes, sex can ruin things sometimes. It's much more important to cultivate close personal friendships than anonymous group sex. It is? We've had six dates, and I'm telling you, I'm absolutely falling head over heels. Who would believe it? You better be careful. Or what? Or I might just fall in love with you. So I guess you're the one and only Christopher. Glad to meet you. My name's Kenny. Stewie's roommate. You think Donkey Dick has a hot for you? I don't know. You care? Wouldn't you? I'm not married. Am I? Didn't they seem so infatuated? Yes. Stable? Not particularly. Oh, come on. When was the last time you saw Christopher acting like that about anybody? Hmm. I can tell you one thing. I don't envy you. Me? What do you mean? Because if they break up, that Christopher Bedford's going to be one mess of pieces to pick up. I don't think they're going to break up. Hope you're right. I love you. Let's get some sleep, okay? Okay. Do you love me?